What's up, YouTube? The Guardian has arrived literally at the moment that I arrived. <laughs> Coincidental? I think not. But for today's update, I want to talk about Charleston Gray ripening signs. Now I call this an update part two. So as we can see, we have a Charleston Gray here. Nice medium sized one. It's a medium sized one of my patch. And what I wanted to show is, do you see this leaf drying out? I'm expecting this whole leaf to to deaden up, and I expect this Charleston Gray will uh, become at it. it'll reach its ripest point. As you can see, we have that occurring over here. So is the Charleston's umbilical running up into here? And then we have the drying of this leaf. It's been drying out every day, so yesterday it wasn't this dry. So I expect maybe about two more days. I'm, I mean, it should be ripe right now, but I expect about two more days and this, this leaf will be fully dried out. So, I, I, I don't know if any other melons do this, but I expect, I assume with Charleston Gray, the leaf closest to the, and not the spoon leaf, but the actual leaf that's a part of the foliage, closest to the melon will become dry. <clears throat> so I'm just Charleston, Bellico is up here. Now this is a fresh Charleston, so I'm not expecting this to be ripe at all, guys. I mean, close to ripe at all. And as you can see, the leaf closest to him is fully green. You can see the leaf rounds right here. It's Charleston's umbilical. Let me get all this flies out there so you can clearly see. So we have the umbilical from this Charleston running up to here. And then we have this leaf right here. It's still fully green. So all my Charleston's had a green leaf that was closest to the Charleston and then it began drying out. So that was the newest Charleston I showed you just now. The first two Charleston's were the, the, um, the first Charleston's of my patch. His umbilical, I want y'all to also see how large this it is. Huge Charleston gray, this is my biggest one in the patch. His umbilical is right here, and the leaf closest to him is right here. So his leaf hasn't, it's, it's starting to dry. It's just beginning to dry. So they're, they're right on time, guys. All right, so I, I, I assume that's a, a sign for, to determine ripening of Charleston Graves. Now, like I said, I don't know if this applies to any other melons. I haven't, I haven't witnessed it, but I have witnessed it for Charleston Gray. And that's Charleston Gray ripening size, ripening signs update part one, guys. Along with the other ripening sign of the melon actually turning gray. I guess we'll show that also. See, this is green, nice green. Full-fledged gray. That's all with this one. And that's obviously why they call it Charleston gray. And then we have the forming of the ribs also. Never pick a melon unless you see the ribs. Is the camera catching it? Yes. So you see right here, along all the way up, and then it's flat right here, and then you have another rib, and it's like that along the whole melon, guys. So look at the bottom. Eh? I guess, but I'm not I'm not worried about looking at the uh, to determine ripeness. All right, guys, those are ways to determine guarantee ripeness of your melon. It's my update for today. Thank you.